All right, y'all. Usually, I start this off with something crazy, but we're just going to get right into it today. It's a short vid. Too long to be a short and too short to be a vid. Again, you know what I'm saying. Point is, is that we got some new confirmed information from Insomniac about Marvel Spider-Man 2 regarding what they're going to be doing at San Diego Comic-Con. Now, we all know we have San Diego Comic-Con every year. And it's always a big deal when it comes to things like Marvel, DC, and whatever other comic books are coming out. And, of course, we were all speculating whether or not Marvel Spider-Man 2 was going to be at this. Well... It was confirmed days ago that Marvel was going to be there, and now it's been confirmed by Insomniac that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is going to be there as well. They're going to be holding a panel in Hall H. I'm so tight. They're going to panel in Hall H. They're going to be talking about the symbiotic relationships. That was all confirmed on Twitter by Insomniac today. So I know we're excited. San Diego Comic-Con does run from Thursday, July 20th to Sunday, July 23rd this year. So y'all tune into that. And of course, when I say tune in, we're going to have to tune into some live streams if you're not there personally. And just because I love y'all, I'm going to share with y'all an article I read on thedecider.com that explains how to tune in to the live stream at the San Diego Comic Con. So it states, you can get all the info you need, panel schedules, live streams, links, etc. at marvels.com slash sdcc. You can also check out the live stream via Marvel's YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch accounts. While the live stream most likely won't literally be a live feed from inside panel rooms, it will be a hosted live stream from the convention center floor featuring interviews and all sorts of reveals. So basically, it's lit. I know we're all excited for this. We'll have to see if they actually live stream that specific panel or if they just record it. We don't even know who's going to be there yet. It could be Yuri Lowenthal, it could be Najee Jeter, it could be Brian Interhar, it could be all three. We'll have to see who's going to be there to answer some of these questions about these symbiotic relationships i don't know if we're actually gonna get venom's confirmed identity i feel like it's a little too early for that but i could be wrong i always figured that kind of between august and september we'll probably get a story trailer and then they might give us a little bit more on that but they give us a lot here in this panel and a lot of people were also saying that the third playable character that we think will be in spider-man 2 now might potentially be wraith instead of it being venom although i know most folks probably want it to be venom which would make sense. Again, she was Yuri Watanabe, who was the head detective in the last Spider-Man game. And if you play the DLC, you saw that she turned into Wraith. And then they showed her again in the original gameplay demo that Insomniac gave us earlier. They showed that she was in there as Wraith. So that would make sense. She does kill, so she is a little bit more of an anti-hero. But we'll have to see, y'all. Regardless, it'll be a good time, man. And y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the links in the description. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next vid, all right? Peace. Touch. Can you play that again?